RCS because I think we overcompensated last time, and that was our downfall. I can't believe we had six pilots die on the launch pad. again. I think I'm going to go for a word of the day thing as well. Yeah, terrible. It's today's. Alright, we're 90 degrees. And we're just going to start our burn. Oh, look at that wider now. Isn't she beautiful? I think we might do it this time, guys. Unless we run out of fuel. What's the fuel like? Terrible. You know, is it more fuel efficient to actually wait until apoapsis? I mean, it runs the risk of if we just don't do it in time, we'll fall back to Earth. Yeah, Kerbin. It's not Earth. Don't be silly. What's Earth? We're pushing out there. Ah, there goes the fuel. All right. Goodbye. out the other side and then assess our fuel reserves. We're going a little slower now because we don't have three engines. I think that's why we came out here relatively nice. We had three engines burning. That's alright, that's alright. Might have to do a little redesign depending on how this runs. Look at that lovely sun. Just going to pop out the plant here. We don't want it to, you know, we, we, we don't need to circularize it for this, not particularly. It does make it easier, but fuel efficiency, what fuel efficiency, I know. Come on, out you come, little periapsis, there we go. I know, it's still in the, uh... alright, we've nearly used an entire fuel tank. This may may not be the day for it. Wow, how the... I don't think we're allowed to go that fast. 50,000 times. Oh no, we must be... Oh yeah, we're pretty far out now. Ah. My brain is caving in on me here. Slow down, girl. Now that we actually have a periapsis out of the planet, to just wait into there, just burn a little bit more. Alright, well that's above the atmosphere. That's fine. Where are you, moon? Around here somewhere. Directly above me? Somewhere? There she is. We're coming for you. Right, now, apparently, if we wait until the moon is rising on our horizon here, it then is the right time to burn. We just got, just got over a fuel tank. I think we've got enough to do this. Don't want to go too brutal. see the moon. I can see the moon through the planet, I think. Oh no, it's the sun. Doi, where's the moon? We're sort of chasing the moon around now. That's fine. Just gotta remember to stop in time to align ourselves nicely. really want to overshoot it. Not going to go for anything like a landing. Not even a full orbit either. Just a nice slingshot.
slow down. Yep, it'll be round in a moment. It'll be round in a moment. So, we are going to align ourselves with the pro grade. There you are. Use the RCS a little bit there to slow us down. Beautiful. Hopefully we'll have enough fuel to get back. Not quite sure at the moment. It's a little bit it's a little bit hairy. Yeah, it's very hairy. But it will speed up as it comes out. We've been flying for forty minutes, apparently. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Right, lovely. Okay, don't want to do too much time compression because this can be a bit, uh, a bit hairy. As in nightmarish doom, as we're flung into the blackness of space. We should come round and meet the moon. The little icon for the moon is actually the same size as it. This is a little funky. That is. Go, coming up on the moon. Just want to slow her down. Now, there we go. Oh my God! Well, that's a collision course. How am I going to adjust this? Uh, I think we're heading directly into it. Come on. Girl. Too high either because it's the moon, it's got no atmosphere, so we won't have to drag. Brilliant. Are we actually heading that way? We are very slowly heading towards the moon. Glorious. Oh boy. Let's just take a look at that, shall we? Where are you? Hello. Nice to see you. Good to see you, nice. Oh dear. His name. Bruce Forsyth. That's the one. Bruce's price is right. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Retarded British TV. I'm kind of excited to be doing a flyby on the moon. I think what we'll do is when we get to periapsis, we'll actually just put ourselves in orbit. Depending. Have we got enough fuel to get back? Fuck it, we have. <laughs> mm. You may be doomed, Kerbals. Don't have to make it a neat orbit either, just a little orbit. So I want to have a little look at the features. You know, do some surveying for a moon landing. That's it. It's surveying. It's totally not tourism. And slow it down now. And we 
we want to be burning retrograde, I believe. Yes. Is that it? Yes, there it is. Look at that one straight to it. I'm getting good at this. No, I'm not. As I dance around it. fumbling around is why I stop. What early? Just a powerful short burn. Bring that right in. We'll have to push it back out eventually. Right. You're a 6k. 200 and something. Ugh, just under half a tank left. Alright, I'm going to call that that. Is that the, uh, we're going to be pretty close to the dark side and then be picking up a little high around here. That's fine, that's fine. Means we can speed ourselves up and we should be fine to rotate safely. Say yourself, try to, but can't because it's locked. There we go. Ah. It's a bloody moon. There's that creepy face in the cloud. Oh. Really low against that moon. 16k. Take photos, guys. When else are you going to get a chance like this? You might die before you come back. Yeah, we're coming up to a periapsis. This is where I find the moon has one six kilometer mountain. <laughs> oh, well, I'm pretty successful with, you know, pretty pleased with this so far successful mission. Swing ourselves out. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me as I cough up my guts. And the tiling of the planet we can see. We're coming round to the day. There's the sun. Ah, uh, carbon rise. Our first carbon rise, people. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Which one's a screenshot? F1. This is the first time for me orbiting the moon. I'm pleased. It's going to be a lot trickier landing on this damn thing, though. Especially what with our weird, uh... How we got here pretty weird. I'm going to have to look up and see what other people do. I've watched people land on the moon, but... To be honest, I was there for the spectacle, really. Carbon, you look like a very, very nice marble. A bauble hanging on the Christmas tree of the universe. Those large craters. And we're pretty, pretty high up from it now. 65k. How are we going to do? When we get round to our periapsis, we're just going to shoot this uh, apoapsis. Oh, I don't know, that's kind of angular, isn't it? We'll do it beforehand, because we want to be coming out to the left here, the left side of Kerbin. Otherwise, when the moon goes round its orbit, we'll just be flung off into space. Alright, so we're just going to speed up through this. Whee! All the way around the planet. Unless uh, Carbon's influence comes out to here, 
and then we can hitch a ride back, but I don't think it does. Nope. That's fine. In we come. And I'll do my burnabout. Here. I'm gonna get aligned, do my burnabout here somewhere. Alright, this is a pro grade burn. Alright. Took us a couple of attempts. Six lives on the, uh, launch pad. Terrible. Terrible shame. Our wall of heroes filling up. Their names etched forever in black marble. Jokes aside, many people have died in the pursuit of space exploration and knowledge. And I hope we are all grateful for their sacrifice. I know I certainly am. Is this going a bit cockeyed? This is going a little cockeyed. That's alright, that's alright. That'll get us back into the sphere of influence. It's a little cockeyed. Mm. Definitely got to work on this. Definitely got to work on this. But this is the first time to the moon. Immune, rather. I hear people call it the Mun. Uh, I think that sounds a little silly. I prefer thinking of it as the Mune. Seems more alien and spacey. Let's not go too fast here. We are T plus seven hours. Alright. Oh, please catch us. Please catch us. Well, definitely caught us. Alright. And now we're going to retrograde burn to bring the apoapsis down. Because I'm not flying all the way around to the apoapsis to bring the periapsis in. Because it should I? My only fear is we might get caught in the sun's gravity or something like that. Hi sun, nice to meet you. Don't want to ever get really too close to you. Well, I do want to send a mission to the moon, the moon, the sun, uh, Kerbal, I believe it's called. Alright, we're getting to the point where I'm babbling insanely, so we need to check fuel. Oh dear. Ooh, good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Bringing that in. What the nightmare would be is if I suddenly got caught back in the moon's gravity. Because then we'd be uh, up a creek without a paddle. But up a very, very large creek. Just going to tip this into the atmosphere. Not going to go into the planet, as was uh, the advice of a commenter, uh, assembler guy, I think, just off the top of my head. I'm just going to actually just six. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, we will not get caught back in the moon as the moon comes around. Otherwise, I will probably cry. Please. Nope. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It was nice meeting you, Moon. We shall come back for a longer visit. And this time, next time rather, we shall bring the muffins. Uh, Jeb's happy to see the planet again. Bob and Bill are a little bit, you know, they're awed by the, you know, the whole momentous occasion. They are returning heroes. I do realize that uh, I'm a retard, and I don't think we're going to fall fast enough. Uh, I don't know. We should get in there. We 
should get in there. I mean, eventually we will hit the planet. Because uh, drag will grab us. Hopefully. Usually I just go for an orbit and then just fall back to planet. I've never been this far out as the moon. We're just going to face backwards for the moment. moving. It is actually moving inwards ever so slightly. Are you going to come in any further? I've never been to this continent before. Okay Molly, I'll let you in in a minute. My cat is scratching frantically at my door. Right, ah, you see our periapsis is actually going down. Yeah, that's brilliant, because then this, there we go, beautiful. Alright, assembler guy, thank you for the advice. This is done well. Because of it, this set of Kerbals will survive. Space am I now? That's brilliant. Uh, map view off. Get rid of you. Here we come. I have not seen this continent before over here. I've never landed in snowy mountains either. Might have to make a plane of some kind and take a little journey around the world. Oh, don't be. Uh, oh dear. Don't make you sick. Oh god, stop. Spinning. <laughs> oh dear. Come on. That's it, that's it. Alright, we are approaching 10 kilometers. T plus 16 hours and 35 minutes nearly. Bill and Bob are shitting their pants. When we have 5 kilometers, I think I'll put the parachute out just for safety. We seem to be coming in to a little set of various. I'm trying to remember what islands that are linked by little bridges are called. Peninsulas, or some kind, I think. I think. Maybe coming up from 5k. Either way, it's a nice little place. I'm sure it will make a good holiday location. See these lock off little areas. Alright, releasing the parachute. We're gonna slowly slow down. Slowly slow down. That is. That was pretty successful. Bumpy start, bumpy start. Can we see the moon? No. Okay. That's alright, that's alright. We did better. something splashed down. It was our uh, penultimate stage. Oh, isn't that nice? Look at those grins on their faces. Bills just wears off. <laughs> he doesn't care. Oh, he's seen we're actually not landing in the water. Nah, you're going a really nice slow speed there. You'll land perfectly fine. Perfectly fine, guys. You might slide down the hill or something. Yeah, this is a really nice place. Beautiful. Alright, see what we have here. 16 hours. Nice altitude. Pff, a lot. Nine and a half million meters. Highest speed, over 3,000 meters a second. Six Gs. Alright, back to the vehicle assembly building. Prometheus 3, you were way more successful than your previous brothers. I might do a little minor adjustment to 
you know, give you a little bit more fuel so you can spend more time doing adjustments, because apparently that's what I do often. Um, I hope this episode was enjoyable for you. Uh, please, feedback, you know, comments, all that lovely stuff. I do appreciate them. I do, you know, listen to what you say. Um, unless you're an asshole. <laughs> going to end this year. Have a lovely day, night, evening, whatever. I am Stimpy, and this was Kerbal Space Program. It's a free download off their website. Go have fun. <laughs>